Hey yo, time for another update on the Slim TSI build. Um, we're on week 17 now of the build. So yeah, I continued working on the left wing. Uh, and um, it's been pretty much finished with the, the wing structure. Uh, the LA inspector has been around as well. He's inspected the wing structure and just the top skin needs to go on now. Uh, pretty much everything else is now completed. I also went through the, the right wing which is pretty much done apart from the fuel tank uh, that needs to be mounted onto the wing uh, that's been signed off as well so progress is uh, steady and slow but uh, still not bad i guess um, i also have a little bit of time before the fuselage kit arrives so I'm pacing myself got a bit more time uh, got till the end of this month to finish uh, what's remaining on the wings so so the leading edge skin going on um, once that was riveted then it was time to cut the uh, the inspection hatch uh, having the regulated veto heat means i have to add a extra inspection hatch so that was the the next step i mean the left wing goes together much easier quicker because you know you've gone through the process on the right wing so it makes it easy it's a lot easier uh, I used this um, uh, this uh, what's this called? It's, it's a nibbler uh, with a circular cutting uh, attachment uh, to use uh, to cut the the hole for the inspection hatch. Uh, it does a pretty decent uh, round cut. Um, could have been a bit more accurate with it, but um, you know, obviously I could you know get get the final finish by trembling it out. So that's always the case, I guess. Um, kind of ready, you go do the initial cut slightly under and then tremble out uh, the remaining bit to get the final finish. And um, now this shows the, the, the inspection hatch mounted on. It's quite a tight fit. Um, I'll have to come up with some sort of handle to undo it uh, once the wing is um, fully built. And uh, I think during maintenance you have to inspect the heat heater control. Uh, that's mainly the reason for the, the panel. So once that was done, I started I mounted the and the pitot tube, um, uh, the static and pitot lines, and all the the wires. So you, the three additional wires uh, needs to run uh, to to the wing road. So I'm using the, the top channel uh, to run them uh, along that. I also put in the PVC tubes for the static, oh sorry not static, the pito and angle of attack. I didn't use the AN fittings, um, it seems to be an overkill for, for this setting. So just uh, hose clamps and the I just inserted the metal part into the PVC hose. I had to get some additional screws uh, from eBay to attach the pito to the uh, uh, to the wing. Yeah, once that was done, I did the rest of the wiring, so the nav lights, the taxi and landing lights. Uh, that still goes through the bottom channel, and just the additional three wires go through the top channel. That's ground, earth, and uh, the signal to the G3X. It will let you know when the pito heat is on. So I'm running along it, uh, it along the top channel all the way to the uh, to where that channel ends, and then kind of swing that wire forward through the gap uh, at the top of the uh, of the spar uh, to bring it onto the uh, the other side where all the other wires come out. I am not quite sure whether that hole uh, is there a matched hole there on the fuselage. I'll have to see when I get the fuselage to see if that. A roping will work otherwise I'll have to bring it through one of the other maybe through the spare um, PVC hose where it comes out the top one is actually spare so yeah we'll see when when we get the fuselage kit how that mounts but anyway the wires are all uh, in that shielded um, braiding kind of thing so once that was done started working on the on the flaps um, flaps are quite straightforward. Nothing quite. There's nothing tricky. Just the assemblies um, and 
the four assemblies needs to sub assemblies plus all the the end ribs I did use uh, a Duralac in between all the mating surfaces because they're of different thicknesses possibly the same material but I think it helps with um, having any galvanic corrosion or in fact preventing any galvanic corrosion uh, so this is the right flap when it was fully done um, it took about a couple of hours I'd say two hours or so to button it all up um, it went together quite well um, the only thing on this one to note is one of the rivets had to be shortened because there's a uh, the rib has a as you can see where the the flap attachment um, the push rod attaches that bit is right behind the the hole for the rivet so there's not enough depth so you have to trim that rivet just the one rivet a little bit um, but other than that everything goes in it's a standard uh, 3.2 millimeter dome rivets all of it so not that complicated with the flaps um, then I did the left flap as well while the left wing is on um, I did check the alignment I did the alignment check on the right wing as well before I did the the leading edge of the flap and the same thing here uh, it looks quite nice um, obviously at the moment the top skin is not on uh, for the wing so that trailing edge of the wing kind of wraps along on the flap I'm guessing when the top skin goes on that should pull that uh, that rivet line of the rear of the wing uh, kind of closer so that uh, the wing the flaps will be clear of it it is quite clear on the on the right wing so well, I'll see when I rivet then but at least I'll know uh, if, if any of the rivets need slight trimming or smoothing out but the fit seems all right it doesn't um, it lines up the gap between the trailing edge where the step is and the flap seems to be all right it's quite nice to see the flap moving <laughs> even though I've got the push rods in um, that would have been good if I had the push rod to connect it up <laughs> so what's left on this wing is to I need to put in a three pin connector for those three wires to the uh, to the uh, heater module and then wire up the landing lights taxi lights uh, hopefully my nav light should arrive as well so I should be able to attach them um, before I finish this wing uh, my ailerons I am a little bit stuck with that I couldn't finish that because I've been sent two of these uh, rib ones uh, instead of one of the rib fours so I'm missing a rib four for the right aileron so I'm waiting for that from the factory and the left fuel tank that's the other thing to be completed and then pretty much that's the end of the wing face of the TSI build and I can clear everything out hopefully the tail light should also come so I can finish that rudder as well and move everything out of the out of the shed so that I can make space for the fuselage kit and until next time take care everyone bye